Hey guys, it's Woody, and before I begin the commentary, I want to ask you for a little advice on color correction. I actually bought this thing that you put on your monitor, and it tells you how to calibrate it perfectly and make it what is the ideal monitor calibration, and then um, after I did it, I was like, man, my color correction all this time hasn't been very good. I should change it in this way or that way. It's too dark. And then I realized I didn't really like the new color calibration, the accurate, the right answer on the color calibration, and I switched it back. And I started wondering, like, well, how many people have this? And it's not like I can take screenshots and show you because you're viewing it on your monitor. The only way to ask for feedback is doing what I'm doing now and saying, which one of these looks better? Look at this. I turn on this guy. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> he was raging at that. But um, uh, anyway, yeah. So look at your screen. Tell me what looks better. The left side, the right side. The lighter side or the darker side. I can't know without looking at your monitor. And, um, you know, I let me know. And I'll use the one that you guys like the most. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's how this goes. But um, I didn't want to leave it like this the entire game. But I did want you to look at it and say, you know, yeah, what do you... Give me a hand. Let me know. Which one of these looks better on your screen? Because I can't know without, you know watching the video over your shoulder in your living room and I'm trying to make everything as great as it can be but let's get on with the actual commentary topic what are you looking for in a Call of Duty killer and the screen's gonna go to normal in a second what are you looking for in a Call of Duty killer like I here's the thing every so often I play a different kind of game right it's not even a shooter and I think to myself like this is nice you know it's just a pleasant gaming experience like Minecraft is that way to me right to play Minecraft to me is just to sort of sit back enjoy look, all those kills are stolen or well, to sit back enjoy relax it's uh, it's nothing but fun but the thing is to me if it's not a competitive game you know if I'm not there trying to beat the guys around me, then somehow I miss the experience. Somehow it's like, it doesn't keep me coming back for more and more and more. Only competitive games have that effect on me. If if it's a game where, like Borderlands, right? I love Borderlands. It's one of my favorite games. And um, somehow, you know, I haven't played it in a couple of months. And it's really because the fact that this game to me is like soccer or basketball or ice hockey you know it it might be the same game every time but it's different people it's a different experience you know it's not like you play basketball one time and say ah <laughs> dude i already played uh, i know this game it, it's boring it's the court hasn't changed since yesterday no you know because it's a competitive experience and you're out there like playing with and against other people it's different every time there's something new to see and that's why, to me, I keep coming back again and again for Call of Duty. So, what do I want in a Call of Duty killer? I think I want it to be competitive. I totally didn't see that guy. I want it to be competitive in some way, right? It needs to have some level of player against player, because without that, it, you know, every game gets dull to me. That, that That's how I roll. So, I could see... You know, the, the most popular game, the number one game, shifting from COD to something else if it also had that same replayability to it. Um, I was looking at the top 10 games right now, and <laughs> of the top 10 games, I think three of them were Call of Duty. And of course, the number one, this is on the Xbox Live who's playing, and of course, the number one was Call of Duty Black Ops, right? So, or Black Ops 2, I mean to say. But Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops were also on that top 10 list. There is some staying power in this game. I know people watching this video probably sometimes feel like, you know, oh, I'm so tired of this game, I'm worn out, I've played it a ton, etc., etc. But uh, the truth is, it's, you know, people are still playing Call of Duty a ton. So what's going to kill it has to be something that has that level of replayability for it to be so big. That guy just showed up. <laughs> so what else do people play, right? Um, it could be a driving game. You know, I don't think that whatever kills COD is going to be a copy of COD. I, I don't think that's going to be it. I, I think that COD is going to own the modern military shooter until modern military shooters are no longer interesting to the world. That's that's my prediction. But there's space shooters out there. Uh, there's non-shooters, like a driving game. You know, I, I, I could imagine people getting into driving games in a way that never happened before. One thing about driving games is they're usually not very popular on the PC. Like, I, you know, I, I could be out of my, you guys might disagree with this, but to me, the controller, uh, you know, the mouse and keyboard, everybody loves it. It's a great way to play shooters, no doubt about it. But I think that people generally agree that the mouse isn't a great way to play driving games. But uh, back on topic, 
Um, maybe driving games will be the cod killer. Maybe that will be the thing that uh, that changes everybody's mind and turns it into something different. I can't be sure. Uh, I just don't think cod's going to get derailed by another modern military shooter. And then uh, the, the second half of this commentary, or maybe the third half, since the first part was... I know third half, right? Uh, the, the first part was color correction, is uh, what I want to see in Modern Warfare 4. Like... I don't know. It's it, it, This is about the time I guess you'd want to get your ideas and input into Infinity Ward. Yeah, I lost my head for a second. Uh, into Infinity Ward. So, like, alright, one, a lot of people say fix the spawns, right? That's their thing. But the only way to fix the spawns is to have bigger maps. That's the deal. If you're going to have tiny maps, then you're going to occasionally have someone behind you when you spawn that you know it's <laughs> it's hard to do it any other way and to me the spawns in a game like domination aren't too bad i'm not usually spawning in somebody's sights but in a game like free for all or sharpshooter then that's going to happen more often because you basically have i think it's nine right nine teams in there and uh, you know <laughs> if you're gonna have nine separate teams on there it's hard to spawn a guy in the clear very often um tdm's a little tougher to have spawns on than some other game types because it's kind of chaos with regards to like where people are and where they're coming from as opposed to Dom where it's like all right you know these are the flags you own you guys sort of you know contest the middle and stuff like that so uh well, I got some good moves here <laughs> let's see if I cap this flag nope um so anyway, yeah, yeah, some people want bigger maps, and there's an argument for that, like you can use more guns. In this game, I feel like the SMGs just dominate, you know, it, it's hard to do well with other guns, with the exception of perhaps the uh, the FAL, you, know, you can do well with other guns, but you know, you'll be at a disadvantage. And um, shotguns are more viable in this game than they've ever been before. Why? Because the maps keep shrinking, they shrink all the time. What is a medium-sized map in this game would be a small map in Black Ops 1. So uh, if you're going to have something like that, then uh, why did I take out that tech insert? If you're going to have something like that, then, um, you know, the, the natural byproduct of it is going to be that you're going to have occasional spawns. I'd like to see the pick 10 system evolve a little bit. You know, when the pick 10 system first came out, I didn't think it was going to be very significant. It was just like, oh yeah, it's housekeeping, whatever, a different way of making your class. But now in hindsight, I actually really do like the idea. I think it turned out super well. What we could do differently, though, is maybe not have everything in the pick 10 system worth one point, right? You know, it was a good idea to start that way, to keep the thing really simple so that people could do their jobs and play the game. But, um, you know, why is a primary weapon just the same cost as, like, an EMP grenade or something? You know, what if your primary costs 20 points and EMP nades cost 5 or something like that? You know, they, oh, by the way, this isn't my idea. This came from a guy named Jeg Liker Frocost on the PS3. <laughs> but, um... Uh, it was a pretty cool idea. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, what if we had a pick 100 system and then different elements of your class had different prices? You know, what if stuns were cheaper than nades, perhaps? You know, what if primary guns were a lot more expensive than these other things? What if perks were more expensive than, you know, stun nades or something like that? You could change it up, have a pick 100 system, and then you could balance your classes in a different way. Because as it is now, like a lot of people just get rid of the stuff that's less valuable and run more of the stuff that's more valuable. And, uh, you know, it, it's not a bad system, but it might be an interesting way to evolve it. Just a thought. The last thing I want from Modern Warfare 4, which I just know I'm not going to get, is, uh, can we give up on the Spec Ops thing? I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, it, it just doesn't catch my fancy. I don't know why. Uh, it, it, I, the whole world seems to agree that zombies are cooler than Spec Ops. That's that's how it went down. There's no arguing it. it it's just the deal. When you buy a Modern Warfare game, you know you're just going to go a year without new zombie stuff. And it's kind of a bummer, but it's, it is how it is. How about they try something brand new? I don't know what that something is. I'm not a game developer. I, I have a ton of respect for them, and I recognize how hard the job is. But, dude, Spec Ops, it, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out by the standard that people have for Call of Duty games, right? Call of Duty games are supposed to be excellent. Horde mode in... Um, Gears of War, to me, was probably not even as good as Spec Ops, in, in my opinion. But... Uh, you know, people have a lower expectation for games that aren't Call of Duty. For a COD game, you know, we want something as cool as zombies. And, uh, you know, we're just not getting it in the Infinity Ward side of the house. 
I don't know what I want from you, but I want you to try something totally new. I, I, I shit, I don't know what it is. I just don't. But uh, I can tell you without a doubt that um, you know if you release Spec Ops again, and it's it's just some guy on his snowmobile headed down a, a hill, or it's I don't know, you know, <laughs> a bunch of regular people approaching you on different maps, it, it that that are easy to kill compared to you. I don't know it. It's just weak sauce, man. Like something about Spec Ops has not captured anybody's imagination and excitement. So let's get a fresh start in there. Try something new, because uh, you know at some point you have to recognize that this thing's not working out like you want it to. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys like the video. If you're new around here, click subscribe on the top right. I upload new videos every day. Here's two you may have missed. The left I made last night after the PS4. I spent two hours watching their PS4 announcement, taking notes, and I share not only what they said, but also my insight into what they said. And on the right, I talk about Colin, who's been doing amazing lately. So check those out and have a good day.